Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite cartoon character. There will be a lot of NSFWs in this ASMR, but it's still for all ages and is PG-13. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blankies, pop in your headphones, snack on some cheesy poofs. Also, a little trigger warning, there will be some swearing, offensive jokes due to Eric Cartman, and just plain down South Park stuff. Anyways, going down South Park and enjoy this ASMR. And then I said to Butters, why the fuck did you get that brand? I meant this brand! Why can't you just leave Butters alone? Because he's gullible, Kyle. Hey, uh, speaking of blondies, where the hell's Kenny? Oh, he's actually spending time with Listener. What? Really? He's... Oh my goodness, I am right. He is a gold digger. He's gonna steal Listener's daddy's credit card information just to get all that money for his poor family. Because he's poor. Or he wants to spend time with her and, I don't know, maybe introduce himself to her family. And maybe get along very well. Not a gold digger, Cartman. Hey, I'm always right. And I can prove that Kenny is indeed a gold digger. I'll give you all the proof you need. And Butters is coming with me. Well, good luck with that, fat ass. Hey, see you later, fat ass. I'm not fat. I'm big boned. Hey, Eric. Butters. Uh, uh, yeah? You're coming with me. We got a mission to do. Oh, gee whiz. Uh, okay. Um, what do you want me to do? You're coming with me. We're gonna spy on Kenny and that new girl. Oh, listener? Uh, well, oh, gee whiz. Uh, I hope I don't get grounded for this because Mom and Dad needs me home in, uh, in two hours. But it gives me enough time, so, uh, okay. Let's do that. All right, Butters. Let's go find listener's house. I know where it is. Okay. I'm right behind you. There they are. And I see there's a window open, so that gives us good access to see what Kenny and Listener are doing. Isn't that an invasion of privacy, Eric? Because, uh, I don't want to peep through uh, seeing girls' boobies, because I got grounded that one time. However, Dad really likes that, and, uh, yeah. What the fuck is wrong with your family, Butters? I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's go over there. Good idea. But we must not be spotted by them. If we do, we must retreat. Uh, yeah, right. All right. You stand right there, hold out your hand, and I'm climbing up. Uh, are you sure I can carry you, uh, Eric? Because, uh, it's because you're big bone. Don't worry. It's just my bones. It's not, you know, just stand right there, butters. Okay. Oh, uh, Quiddy Butters, I'm trying to see. You're, uh, it's okay, Eric. I got you. All right, let's see what this is. Uh, any sign? Uh, no. Uh, it looks like that's listener's mother. She's got nice tits. Oh, uh, what? We're in the wrong window. Uh, I hear it laughing at the other one. You want to check that out? Yeah, whatever. Let's go over there. <sighs> Come on, butters! <sighs> coming, coming. <sighs> All right, let's try again. Oh, gee wheeze. What was that? Nothing. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Time to record some blackmail, Kenny. Don't worry, I, I got you behind you. It's okay. Just one more tab to pin on the wall. There we go. <laughs> you really have a thing for this band. No, 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 it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Are there any more posters you need help that I can lift you up? No? Okay. Well, looks like that's everything. Oh. You need help with the figurines? 
Okay. Uh, where's the boxes for your figurines? Oh, okay. It's the top one. Alright, let me open these up. Wow! Even I can't afford all these. This must cost like, what, $200 or something? No. Like 15 or $20? That's insane. They look so well detailed. Especially your adorable Link figurine. It looks like it costs a fortune. It was actually $12? Wow. Really amazing. Whenever I see a figurine like that, you know, at a store, Cartman would attempt to make fun at me, saying, like, I can't get that because it's $20, and you only have, like, 20 cents because you're poor. It's just my dad. Yeah, he's always too busy drinking and not doing much. My mom is a drunk, too, and, uh, they would always tell me to get the job, and I... I do help with, you know, get a job, and sometimes I like to give my little sister, Karen. Um. Yeah. Huh? Uh, no, listener, you don't have to spoil me with gifts. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be the man, and I am looking for a job. It's just this town really does suck when it comes to jobs. I used to work for Shitty Walk, and not that much, but, um... It's decent. Yeah. And the other time, they tried to make a freaking city slash town on, around my home and turned it into some fancy modernized luxury for others. You know, like restaurants. I don't know, a festival. I don't know, it just felt so unnecessary. It doesn't, it doesn't really make my house feel more appreciated. We're just left there. Mm-hmm. My family is, uh, quite questionable, and very complicated people. Except for my little sister, Karen. I remember I showed you pictures of her. Oh, maybe next time I can bring her here and, yeah, she can introduce herself to you. She really is such a sweetheart. Hmm, how come your big brother isn't here? Oh... Okay, he doesn't want to leave his college. Okay, that, that's, that, that's understandable. That's okay. Yeah, as long as he's happy over there, then that's completely okay. Again, I just wanted to say thank you for coming down here to see me. I know we've been chatting on social media for almost ten months now, and I finally get to see you, and I can't believe you actually made it happen. <laughs> yeah, long-distance relationships can be pretty hard. We're not there for one another in person, can't hold each other, and uh, we can't kiss one another. Listener, do you want to kiss? You can say no if you want. I mean, I know you just moved here like two days ago, and I, I don't want to rush you. Only if you're ready. Excuse me? Y you want to kiss me? I don't want to push you. I mean, if you're ready for it, I mean, it's just you and me together, at last. Hopefully your dad won't get too mad if he ever spots us. He wouldn't... Okay. Well... Looks like your figurines are... On your shelf now. Do you wanna kiss? <laughs> I hope you don't mind me all bandaged up. Uh, let's just say I died and I brought back to life. I'm known as a little angel here. <laughs> your sweet compliments. It always makes me happy that someone truly cares and understands. Come here. Look up at me. <laughs> You're so cute, listener. Just looking up, you, up at you in person. I feel 
feel so blessed. <laughs> that actually felt nice. Maybe one more? <laughs> I don't want to rush you. <laughs> Alright, I'll give you another. <laughs> oh, I love you too, listener. Very much. Oh my god. What is it, Eric? Kenny and listener kissed. He's using that tactic to lure in listener's money. What? Why am I missing all of this? I want to see the smooch smooch. Never mind. I'll, I'll get it. I'll, I'll be grounded if I saw that. Butters, put me down. I have enough evidence now. I'm going to show it to Stan and Kyle. Can I come with you, Eric? No, you go home. Oh, gee whiz. Okay. At least I won't get grounded. Actually, I'll be grounded if I come home too early. I'll just go get some ice cream. A hey, Stan, Kyle. What is it, fat ass? Hey! What, what is it? So, I got to go for a little visit at Listener's house. Are you stalking her? No. I just got to know her. And what I spotted was Kenny was there. And guess what I uh, witnessed? Uh, we don't need to know, Eric. No, 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 guys. Watch it. Watch, watch, watch. Oh. Aww. Listener and Kenny kissed. Aww. I always knew they would look cute together. What? You guys are fine for this? A gold digger is going after her money. You're over-exaggerating, Eric. Maybe Kenny and Listener... I mean, he did tell me they were in a long-distance relationship. And they just like each other and... Finally, they get to hold one another and finally kiss. Yeah, I've been in once before and, uh, pretty hard. So I really should never called back. It's okay, Stan. You got me. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. You guys are falling for it. I'll show you more proof that Kenny is a gold digger! I won't give up! Cartman, are you gonna shut the fuck up because Terrence and Phillips is gonna be on? Ooh, Terrence and Phillips, yeah! Got any more cheesy poofs? Nope. Yeah.